everybody. Welcome back to Let's Relax. We're playing Train Simulator. I'm Zach, 9to5Gamer, and we are rolling along playing a game that helps me chill out, and hopefully it's going to help you chill out too. So we are uh, making our run across the English countryside on this steam passenger train. I believe it's the late 40s, maybe? Uh, Post-war England? Maybe pre-war, but I think post-war. Anyway, we're rolling uh, down the countryside trying to get some folks to where they want to be on time. Uh, if you watched last episode, I missed my first station. I was about a minute late, and the game chastised me for that. So I'm hoping maybe we can make up that difference here uh, on our next uh, next run. We've got to get to coal by 1629. Right now our ETA is 1632, so I don't think that we're going to make it. But we're going to do our best. We're going to see if we can get as close as we can. Uh, we are going very slowly up this hill, I will say. Playing with some of the settings, trying to get this train to go a little faster, and it is taking its time. Once we peek over this hill here, hopefully we'll start speeding up a little bit. I'm a little concerned, we're getting low on water and coal. Water especially, we're down to 52%. Um, I've had that run out on me before in steam engine games, so hopefully we'll be okay. It's a lot easier, especially with the electric train, because you don't have fuel to worry about. We shall see. Okay, we're starting to come down the hill again, so hopefully we'll start picking up some, some speed. Uh, play with these dials just a little bit, I think, as long as we keep that in the green over there. I think that's the most efficient power delivery. Oops, that goes red. I'm not sure if I need to pull back a little bit. Oh, there's a truck there. Yeah, that, that looks post-war. Other than the fact that it's, you know, hovering about a foot above the ground. Uh, maybe that's that... Uh, did you see Captain America? Maybe that's that uh, <laughs> that technology. They're using the Tesseract to help their, help their truck technology. Anyway, we're moving forward. We're hauling the people. I was about to say the mail. But we're hauling some folks aboard our train. We're downhill this whole way, so hopefully we should be able to get some more speed. I don't... Not seeing how to be more efficient on this. It's in the red no matter what I do, so I'm just gonna keep it up. Uh, let's put it about 33%. That seems like it's still bringing your speed up. I'm just gonna keep it there. What if I bring this back? Is that help? There we go. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. What if we do this? What if that stays at 75 and this... Look at that. <laughs> Just trying to get... There we go. Trying to get that to turn green. 50%, 40%. Sure, why not? Again, I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of making this train go fast. And if you know what you're doing and you're watching this video, I apologize profusely. But we've got a long, straight stretch of track to get some speed up before we go up that hill there. So hopefully we can get up close to... Maybe... 60 miles an hour before we go up that hill? Probably not, but we're at 40 now. Let's see how it goes from here. Okay. Lovely day, though, at least. Some nice big cumulus clouds floating around up there, and the sun is shining brightly. Looks like it might be fall, though, because most of these trees seem pretty bare. Ooh, some crows and whatnot. Hello there, birds. Oh, rover has got a tractor out there. Somebody's playing farm sim. <laughs> oh, there's two. All right. <clears throat> We're at 50 miles an hour. We're about to start going up this hill. I'm going to switch to the other side here. It's a bit of a different view. Some lovely English farm si uh, countryside farms here. Okay. We're gonna start climbing this hill, we're probably gonna lose a little speed, and yes, we are. We're throttle in. <clears throat> Alright. But we're going pretty quick. Let's see, our ETA is still, wow, we're three minutes behind on our ETA now. We're supposed to reach coal at 1629 and 49, we're basically 1630. 
4.30 in the afternoon, and we are going to be reaching that at 4.32 and 23 seconds, so we'll be a couple minutes late. Um, that's unacceptable in the world of trains, apparently. Although, from what I understand, a lot of the, uh, especially English trains, are usually late, I think. I don't know. I spent some time in Tokyo, and it's creepy how accurate their train times are. They're always, always, always on time, but... All right. We're approaching the station. We've got another mile, a little bit over a mile to go. We're going to be starting to get ready to break. This is a downhill stop, so we're going to have to be careful we don't overcook this. Uh, what I'm going to do is start pulling that throttle back a little bit. As well as 60 miles. In fact, I'm going to pull it all the way back. We're at 60 miles an hour. We should be good. Um, let's see. Point. Eight, six miles, eight, five miles. We've got a little bit further to go. Once we pass the signal, I'm going to start applying the brakes gingerly, I believe, to roll us in. Crank it up again. Alright. There we go. We passed the, uh, we'll go at 25% on our braking. Crank up the window again and see. Can't quite see the station. Give them a whistle to let me know we're coming. We're here, we know we're late, we're sorry. Increase the braking just a little bit, because we need to start slowing down. We're coming to this station hot and fast. All right. There we go. Drop us back down to 20, 19% on the brakes. There's the station platform. 30 miles an hour. Go to external view here, make sure we're we're going to overcook it. I think we're going to be pretty good. I'm going to actually bump up those brakes a lot, though. Let's go to the back of the cars. There we go. Release the brakes. That should roll us into the station for the most part right where we want to be. It's hard to get all the, the doors on along the station there. All right. Zero percent. That's fine. Open the doors here. <clears throat> cool. Well, we were late, uh, but only by, let's see, a minute and, well, about two minutes. We were about two minutes late. That's unfortunate. We've got one more stop to make. We've got to get to Evercreech Junction. Evercreech? Evercreech? Wow, that's, a, that's an English name if I've ever heard one. Uh, we've got to get to Evercreech next uh, by 1636. Hopefully we can pull that off. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're going to do our very, very best. All right, you did not pick up passengers by 1628. Yes, I am aware we did not. I apologize profusely. Come on, let's go train. Get moving. Let's get back inside the, the uh, operator's cabin. We'll call it. There we go. Poof. Come on. Blow the whistle. That'll get the train moving. There we go. All right, we are rolling. Ever so slightly. I'm gonna drop the throttle a little bit. Keep that PSI in the green. Okay. Should drop that down and bring that up. That will help. Maybe? Maybe not. There's some noise happening. I'm not sure what that noise is. stopped. It's a good sign. Good sign when the noise stops, the mysterious noise. Alright. On our way to our last stop. In fact, that'll be a, another good stopping point for this episode of Let's Relax. Uh, as always, thank you for joining me. I hope this helped you chill out. Uh, tune in next time on Let's Relax when we will finish this run, get these passengers where they want to be. They're going to be a little late, but uh, they're just going to have to get over it, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And to see more from us, check out our website at thefoundrycast.com. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching.